the situation uh, in, uh, in terms of order book for our company, it was uh, strong and uh, it keeps going even uh, stronger. We see a general traction, a good traction, positive traction for, uh, for the car, for our car across the different geographies. And uh, I have to say that uh, the, the uniqueness, the, 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 the exclusivity, the, the good feature of our cars, let me say, are uh, I, we believe at the base of this good uh, uh, traction in terms of order intake that we see really across all the, the market. Consider, consider that uh, we have uh, uh, only a few models that are available in our uh, dealers. And despite this, the order intake is very, very robust. So we are very pleased about this. Well, the theme for most companies in most sectors these days is that of rising costs. What has that done to Ferrari and how has it affected your own margins? Uh, for sure. I mean, we are a player of, uh, in the economy and we are... Uh, also, we see the rising cost in terms of energy, in terms of raw material. This is a, a trend. I think the, the team did a, a good job because we, we start to put action in place already since Q4 last year. Uh, I also told this uh, during uh, that quarterly call. So we have been doing two things. Number one, we have been uh, uh, reviewing the prices of the new model that we announced after that. And number two, we also looked at how we cope and how we manage the price of existing model to cope with the rising prices of energy and, uh, and raw material, especially aluminum. So yes, we, have, we experience this uh, rising cost trend, but we have been able to manage and we plan to manage properly also for the future. Mm, was that part of the motivation for launching a, a new type of Ferrari, the SUV, the Puro Sangue? Uh, does that have higher margins embedded in it? But, uh, as I told you during the Capital Market Day, our model is pretty clear. We want to have uh, an EBIT that is uh, 27 to 30% in the four-year time frame. And all the cars, all what we think, all what we do is meant to achieve this, uh, this goal. So mm -hmm. uh, what I can tell you is that uh, the Puro Sangue, that I like to say is a sport car, it's a car that we do not intend to produce in big volume. As I said, we will never pass the 20% of the yearly production volume with that model. So everything we do is meant to see this 27, 30% EBIT and an EBITDA that is going to 38 to 40% in line with what we said at Capital Market Day.